All right, hey, I'm gonna be. All right, I wanna make this video as fast as possible. This is a trade review for Tesla and Cat. All right, today, so uh, as requested by I think Sherman Driller and Chestnut. All right, here we go. All right, we are trading strat setups, right? All right, so in here going into June 23rd, uh, we're looking at a 3-1, potential 3-1-2 uh, bullish reversal uh, on Tesla. All right, so let's let's review time frame continuity first. All right, let's go to the month. What do we got on the month? All right, we've got red time frame continuity. However, it is a hammer and it's pretty doggone close to turning green, right? So if that that three one two could easily turn this month green, uh, and that that could be that could uh, be an additional signal uh, to see some pretty good movement on that on that day, right? So that's something we want to know about. All right, let's drop down to the week. All right, so the week we've got a, we've got a two up, but it is red again. Um, pretty pretty tight range there, right? All right, so so. This week is uh, it's not doing so much. We've got a little bit of movement, but we we've got pretty pretty close consolidation. I believe that's I believe that's the right term we want to use. All right, uh, all right. So let's go to the day. All right. So here we go. We're going into June twenty third. We've got a potential three one two continuation. All right. What is a three one two? Not a continuation. Sorry, a three one two bullish reversal. Let me bring this up real quick. All right. As you see on the top right here, three one two bullish reversal. We've got we've got a red an outside day followed by an inside day, which doesn't matter if it's green or red. Uh, that's why that's gray right there. All right, we've got our entry there at the peak of the one. All right, and we've got our target right there at the three. All right, so let's take that off for a second. Let's look at our chart. All right, so that's pretty tight range there. We know this is Tesla. Tesla can move easily $100 in a day in either direction, right? So our magnitude, if we were to take this, we've got 628 up to 631. Uh, when you're playing options, that can still that can still pretty uh, be a nice chunk of change, right? All right, so that was our magnitude, uh, and our trigger is 628.57. All right, so let's play the day. Let's drop down to the five minute bar real quick. Let me expand out this price just a little bit here. All right, so this is the five minute bar uh, closing on the 22nd. All right, so let's hit play here. Uh, this playback feature in tr uh, Trading View. It's a charting only program. All right, so let's hit play. All right, so there's the first five minute bar. All right, all right, so we're already off the charts a little bit, right? So so what happened? What happened? And here's the first 15 minutes of Tesla on June 23rd on the five minute bar, all right? So we gapped up. Do we, do we like to take gap ups? Some people say no, some people say maybe. Uh, I'm kind of leaning on the uh, on the fence of, of uh, I don't I don't like gap ups. Not unless not not unless they, not unless these are gap and goes right. And how do we know if it's gap and go if we start seeing some continuation here, right? But within the first minute, first 15 minutes of the day, what do we got? Ooh, we got an inside bar on the fiver. That's something we want to know about. Uh, I believe it is. All right, so let's hit play. Let's get one more bar. Boom! Right there. All right, check that out. All right, so we're 20 minutes in and we've already got a 212 continuation. Let's go to the chart, uh, 212, top left here, 212 bullish continuation. That is a strat combo. Can we take that? Yes, we can. All right, did I take that? No, I wasn't watching Tesla that closely. Uh, I'll show you where I got in at. All right, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. At this point, I am on the fiver. Uh, at some point, I do check in. All right, here we go. Boom, all right, actually right here. Sorry, let me pause this. All right, so here we go. Uh, I am in the fiver on Tesla. All right, we're st uh, we're in and around the, the first hour of the day here, uh, and I see this nice, beautiful two one two reversal. I love two one two reversals uh, on any time frame. I feel like you get really good movement, really good safe movement. I play options, gonna be options, right? Uh, so I want to see good movement off my reversals. Uh, two one continu two one two continuations can still give you fast good movement, but I like two one two reversals. Do I get stomped out on? on you you can get stomped out on any reversal. Did I get stomped out on this reversal? No, it went it ran for another fifteen minutes after that. Right, it got good uh, continuation uh, continuous moves on that, and I made pretty good profit. Right, so uh, in in around six forty seven forty three was my entry, uh, and so let's let's hit play. All right. So here's where here's where I get the first two two against me. All right, on Tesla, I usually run something on like anywhere from a ten cent, and this is on the option price, but anywhere from a ten cent to a fifty cent uh, trailing stop on Tesla. Some depending on what kind of setup the overall day is is kind of going to influence on what my my trail stop is going to be set at on this day. I believe I had a pretty tight, I think it was probably, I, I can't remember, that probably doesn't sound good, but I think it was probably about a 20 cent 
uh, on the option price trail stop. Uh, so I got stomped out uh, right stopped out right up here on this uh, on this two bar. It was a two up, but it it almost took out the entire green bar. So I got stopped out here. Uh, and so the first time I got stopped out, uh, I still made a couple hundred bucks. Right. So that was, that was pretty good. All right. So let's continue on with the day. Uh, and just real quick, I'll pause one more time. Uh, I do transition to, uh, the, you know, a 15 to 30 an hour. I, I will check all time frames, looking for setups on all time frames. But generally I like to, if, if you're in, if you're seeing, uh, big green bars on the day, like what Tesla ended up being right here, right? So if it, if it's generally like this, you're, you are, your best bet is trying to find those reversals on the smallest time frame you can, uh, because, because you're hoping to get that good continuation throughout the rest of the day. Right. So I'm looking, I was, uh, at this point, I probably was in the 15th. All right. So I was watching this cause I, I already made a couple hundred bucks on Tesla. So I was starting to pay attention to other things. Uh, I also took cat, and, um, yeah, a couple other trades. All right. So right here, uh, I, we see a, a two, two reversal, right. On the fiver. Uh, and I did take this, uh, I think I did, I did one additional, uh, call here. Uh, up to, I was probably about 655 ish. Yeah. I think I was playing 655, 655 calls. Uh, and, uh, I, I think I made $9 on this second two, two continuation before getting stopped out again. Right. So over all my, uh, PL for that. Right. So right there in Tesla. Yep. I did, I did a 650, a 660 for $19. And then I also did a, oh, a 652.50. All right. So I did a 286, 19 and nine. All right. Um, so, so th think about that. Like I'm, I'm buying pretty close to they're out of the money calls, but they're really close to range. So those, those calls are pretty expensive, right? Like in around 800, 900 bucks a piece. Uh, once we start trading sideways, it's too expensive to be, to be playing, you know, anywhere close to in the money, out of the, out of the money, at the money calls. It, it, it's, it's getting too expensive, right? So I'm done with Tesla for the day. We'll play this out. Uh, we'll play the rest of the day out on the 15. Uh, as you can see, um, so we just really start trading sideways. Uh, we did start trending up a little bit. And that's it for the rest of the day, right? Uh, we did make it up to 656. So, you know, had I had I held through, uh, you know, some of this red here, uh, yeah, sure, I could have ended up at 656. But uh, for me personally, I'm not playing that game. I'm, I'm trying to hold on to money. I don't want to see red, which is why I have pretty tight trailing stops. Uh, if you're Alex, you can do two ten thousandths of a cent uh that was the joke earlier in the server but but so all right so that that concludes uh the tesla right all right let's go to cat all right what's cat doing on the month cat is cat is outside puking on the month coming off of all-time highs of uh 245.78 uh, if you've been paying attention to me in the server at all, you know that I've been playing puts. I've been loving playing puts on this thing. I've been joking about it. I've been having a good old time. I've been making lots of money playing cat. Uh, I think there's like one other dude who's talking about playing cat. I don't know what you guys are doing. Play cat. Cat cat is a good, safe mover. Not, okay, I won't say safe. All right, play cat at your own risk, right? I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, but I have enjoyed uh, steady steady moves in cat, right? Uh, playing puts. As you can see, I got a little uh, smaller broad information here. Uh, I've got a couple levels of magnitude. Uh, the yellow represents the triggers that I'm going to show you here in a minute. Um, so, and then this green line was showing a, a green level of magnitude that I was chasing today after playing calls. Uh, and then these other reds represent weekly, weekly the levels of magnitude. I'll drop down. All right. So I've got these red lines tracing back to previous previous weeks. Um, and then and then this was today's uh, green magnitude that I was chasing. Right. I, I was playing calls. All right. So coming after. Excuse me. Coming after two solid weeks of just puke and what what the what the hell is going to be thinking I'm trying to play a call? Well, I've been playing I've been playing cat a lot, right? So I've I've kind of I've kind of got this one dialed in at least a little bit, right? I I, uh, I expand my broad information to represent the peak of this right here. We have not made a lower low since hitting that on the 18th of June, right? We do not have a lower low. So what does that what does that signify? We are reversing off of this bottom of this broad information. All right, this, this, or this broadening formation is representing where we have reversed off of. We haven't made a lower low yet, so we are on an uptrend. All right, so that is why I have switched to playing calls on CAT. All right, so let's drop down. Actually, no, let's not. Let's turn on the replay. Uh, we, we will replay the day. All right, so we, we, are, we are a two down, but and, and it's not a hammer. This is kind of doji, but we are not an uptrend. We are reversing off the bottom of this broadening formation. So I am aware of either playing calls or puts on cat. I like playing calls and puts on cat. 
uh, because when it moves, it generally moves uh, in that direction throughout the day. Uh, sometimes it gets pretty choppy, but for the most part, I've had good success in one direction in a given day. All right, so let's drop down again to the fiver. These again, these yellow lines represents our uh, target, our uh, sorry, our trigger for either calls or our trigger for put. So what are we doing off the fiver? All right, so we're still kind of inside, 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 inside. Boom, just triggered a two up on the day. All right, so I get an alert on that. So I see this two up on fiver. So now it is a two up on the day. And on the fiver, what do I see? I, I see a two, two continuation instantly right here. So um, whereas uh, you uh, a beginner might think that I took this two, two continuation, which previously I said I don't really do. Uh, not really. What I did is I took a two, two continuation on the day as soon as it expanded up there, right? But let's drop back down to the fiver. So um, I play, I took a couple, couple option calls here uh, with, uh, again, on cat, I can play a really tight stop. So I had like uh, probably a 0 0.5, 0 0.05 or, or a 10 uh, cent stop here. Played that and then boom, right here, I get stopped out. I get stopped out right here on this red bar. It goes down. All right, we get a little TTO action and then and then we get a 2-2 reversal instantly. And I made a little bit more money here before it starts trading sideways for the rest of the day and I'm done with CAT, all right? All right, so CAT and Tesla, obviously my big plays for the day. And our CAT gave me a total of, uh, I played the 215 calls uh, twice, uh, two, op two call options a piece uh, for a total of 240, right? So not bad. Um, my big winner's here. And then uh, I played a couple other plays, you know, lost a little bit here on uh, Boeing, lost a little bit on Vail. All right. So like, as you can see, my trailing stops, you know, they keep me from losing a whole lot, except for on something like Tesla. Tesla can run away from me real fast, but uh, trailing stops work. I like it. Uh, I'll try to make some more. I'll try to start making some more videos for the server uh, and I'll try to get better at being able to speak and articulate and use the proper terms and basically just emulate Alex's style and trading videos for you guys. All right. Uh, this turned out to be a little bit more difficult than I thought. There's a lot of stuff to manage here, so uh, be gentle.